Well, hello everyone, and welcome to a very special episode of. Uh, oh no! Dog no, podcast. not a special episode. Um, Why is it a someone, special one? Did someone get hooked on drugs? Yeah, no. This is a special. <laughs> this is a special episode because this is the first episode in September. September is of course. Oh, I, I didn't know we were naming every month. Yeah, Great. yeah and September is of course the month in which we accidentally discover Dog Sog on Alpha Lima Prime, and uh, <laughs> wow. That is uh, that is a date that will live in infamy. infamy. Of course, that is where the saying comes from. Uh, oh God, why do we remember the tenth of September, <laughs> which is when? We got I love when Soinki hosts episodes because we get more lore about this yes. channel. <laughs> Finally, more Ogsog lore. What the audience has been clamoring yep. for. Update the Wikipedia page. Yeah. This is when we will reveal that uh, what you are seeing is each of our panic rooms during the month of September. You may <laughs> randomly hear some shouting, some people screaming for their lives. That is because during September, there are no rules for Ogsog. He, uh, oh, is he, it like he the will... purge? The purge? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is the Og Sog's version of the Purge. He will eat anyone and everyone. Uh, so we are locked in our Og Sog proof bunkers. Uh, well, so Inky fixes the audio issues. I'm just going to use this time to talk about what we do here on the channel. This is the Og Sog podcast with Lasercorn, Mari, so Inky, myself, Jovenshire. Uh, every other Monday, we have a new full show. You can watch the video version on Patreon. We have a link in the YouTube link if you're uh, if you're there. Uh, or also, we've got the full Spotify version you can listen to. And of course, on YouTube are segments where we do gaming. Check out our Patreon page for extended gaming and podcast episodes. Help support pay for producer baka this this uh topic is posed as uh what would smosh games look like today if we never left and our <laughs> now let me i want to i want to clarify like are we are we i guess anything's open for for discussion like are we th saying like is would there be other casts? Would it be just us again, or is it like as as uh, the the topic creator? Um, I think it should also look at where you would be in your career as well. If uh, if you as an individual or we as a group never left Smosh. Hmm. Uh, well, hmm. I can tell you this. Oh, this is a really interesting question. Uh, I would have a lot more money. <laughs> yeah. I'd have a lot more money. That's a fact. I don't. I don't know. What? Well, because when they came back. Well, because I guess it would have depended on if we were offered full-time contracts when they came back, when we came back, and how much money that would be for. Would we have a lot more money? It probably would have been, uh, my guess, I would. is <laughs> based on where we were before we left, I don't think a new company owning Smosh, taking a gamble, if you will, would want to pay that high because it would take yeah. that much longer than to kind of like, you know, because get up there. Yeah, I know not to name names or anything, but I know that some people are just paid, you know, on days that they go in. And then, you know, they don't have, like, a salary. So if we, not, uh, so, not full-time, but if we were still full-time, what okay. would that yeah, look so like? Okay, so we're assuming we're assuming in this that they, they offered us a full-time contract when we came back and we took yes. it? Okay. I'm yeah. sure, it would, yeah. I, I think that what would happen is we wouldn't have um, what was, like, a VP above us i think that that we would take the reins of like all creative and um like taking the smosh game sector I as opposed to having somebody above yeah. us i will say this i like i i i think that the only way in which i could imagine going back and doing smosh games like and even doing this thought experiment is like having had this time away because like i was mentally checked out man i was like kind of miserable um with you know certain things that were happening at the company and whatnot and so it's like i i don't know if i would have been in a good mental place so i i think that almost answers the question because it wouldn't be a, a positive thing for you it would have been a very negative thing almost just done with the internet in general and you're if you were still there now it would probably be less of like all right let me find out what else i can do and mm. more of like you know what i've done this for long enough i'm just done i'm yeah. moving back to i mean i feel like i'm in a much something. healthier place in my life where like now like i i probably could go back and be happy but like if I had just been there the whole time, yeah, I think I'd be like a, in a really bad mental place. For sure. hmm. I think I would have, I, I would have stayed in a place where I would could, like feel like I'm going up the ranks, but I feel like 
there would be a part of me knowing that it's settling to a certain extent. Like I'm, I'm pursuing something that I thought I would never pursue or be able to pursue now, but that's like you said, coming out of not being a part of it yeah. and stepping away. Well, but I think the question was, what would Smosh games look like? So yeah. um, I think I think channel-wise, if we had stayed, I think like we were always open to like new people coming in. And I still think we would have had new people coming in. I think it would have like grown in, I think it would look a little similar to now where it, where it has like an ensemble. And I think maybe that would have happened a little faster even because, like Sohinki said, some of us were dealing with burnout and stuff. So getting new blood into the mix, I think, is something that was going to happen regardless. So maybe even a sped up thing. Um, And I think, uh, I don't know. I think there might have been a transition into like more, more like real life stuff, like less, less games, more going out and like, Making yeah, because we were and, already on that path anyway. Yeah, yeah, like you can only do Minecraft and uh, GTS for so long before like you need new stuff. So yeah, like um, and I think that's the part we enjoyed, right? The the most, the like summer games and winter games and stuff. So I think we would have pushed to do more of that. Yeah, during that time we saw that gaming stuff just got less views, and that's mm-hmm. why we started to make that shift away. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, you know, Bo's coming in with with uh smosh and order order. i think i think that would have really set the path i think i think the channel knowing how much i love development now i think i would have still found that passion especially near the end of where i was with some of the projects that i was working on so i think the ensemble cast would have made more sense because i think i would have definitely taken more of a behind the scenes approach just to develop stuff and probably be on camera because it was necessary but like really play up you know some of the stuff that i wound up doing on my own and maybe doing doing there like uh like hero click or something which i guess technically we did we did that from uh it was probably just another show i stole from them um but i think i would have we would have had a lot more diversity on sg because i think the development would have been a very different pair of eyes also, I think that because 2020 being 2020 and 2021, um, I think we would have been doing so many collaborations. Um, just thinking back oh, on yeah. how many people we worked with, worked with, we streamed with during the pandemic, during quarantine, um, and just kind of understanding like how much our networks have like expanded. I think that would have been all on SG, and we would. But would our networks in. actually have expanded? Because they expanded because we had to expand. When I left SG, I didn't. Ha- None of those contacts were technically my contacts, so I felt like I had to start from scratch, and I got a little mm. scrappy, like trying to invite people in. So, I don't think so for me. I feel like when when things shut down, it was like, well, what do we do? Let's play Among Us, and it was just like pools yeah. of folks that didn't used to mix, and it was just kind of like a an amalgamation of like, oh, yeah, I mean, we're friends on Twitter. Didn't think that we would be playing games Yeah, it would have definitely opened the door, I think, for different collaborations. You're right. Because, like, I was, you know, in in to know none of my own creative, but, like, in games of Among Us with people that I never thought I'd be playing video games with. And then that Mm could have been very easy. Like, all right, hey, we're going to do this thing with SG. Do you want to come be a part of this? Yeah. Yeah. And keep it going afterwards. So we got, I know that you said that you'd have like you know more money than you do now, but do you do you kind of see your role there changing or do you, like how would the channel look differently? Yeah, I think um, I, I kind of want to piggyback off something you said because I I feel like that I don't even know. I think we would have all. I agree with Lasercorn and I agree with you where it's like I think we would probably have expanded. Not agree with me. <laughs> well, no, I I I I mean I don't. I I may have missed something you said um, about the channel, but uh, I think we would probably have expanded the cast a bit. Um, and I do think that the four of us in different ways would have been doing more behind the camera stuff, um, like more more focused on the producing and the that kind of thing. And then uh, probably like, you know, appearing on camera from time to time, but like kind of taking more of that like creative behind the scenes role rather than you know getting being constantly on camera and stuff. I like that's that's the way I imagine myself heading in that situation 
It's it's I definitely where I was feeling before I left. So if I would have kept the same mentality, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, which you are, I always say it, but you are watching this on YouTube. This is just a cut down version of the full version that you can listen to on Spotify. You can also find us on Patreon, patreon.com slash ogsog to support us and, you know, become a ogsog member. Oh, oh, praise him.